Robin, my name is Alex, and alongside me is another the commentator, Vader. Hello, everyone, I'm commentator Vader, and join the dark side. And today, ladies and gentlemen, for our first matchup of the day, we're going to be showing you Ken versus Little Mac. Now, this is going to be the first time we're going to be seeing a boxer versus a karate fighter. We have not seen this kind of thing since Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, but now we're going to be seeing it in Ultimate. Yeah, it reminds me of the time when Little Mac first debuted in Super Smash Brothers, old, uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. It was just amazing to see this guy fight. His moves and his tactics were so great. Even though he was taking blows, he never gives up a fight until he is locked out on concrete. Ken, on the other hand, he's been training side by side as far as it gets for you. He has a power of fire, while Ken, ha while Wii U has a power of strength, and he has do good, but. On top of that, Ken is the master of the, all these fire elements, and this is actually going to be a good fight. I, I, I can't wait for this fight to start. Let's stop talking and let's start getting on to the match. Here we go as we begin this fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be another than Ken versus Little Mac. Who is going to win? The fight is on. Ooh, and Ken gets hit. Ooh, there goes the first punch by Little Mac. Oh my goodness! Ken is just not doing the exactly that. Oh, but he's getting, but he's getting a little back. Here he goes. These two are boxing each other out there. It is Ken's first time, first time in a we you know in a Smash Bros. arena. He used the fire flame on a little back. That is incredible. How can you do that to a god? How can you do that to a legend who's been a part of this Nintendo series ever since then? Oh, and he uses the most. And he used what's the name of that kick? What's the name of that kick? It's called, uh, Teku Takamaki, I think that's what it's called. Ooh! Ken knocked out, and that's his fourth one out. Little Mac, oh my goodness, Little Mac. He got kicked by Ken. And he's out! Good job by Ken! This is actually going to be amazing. This is actually going to be an amazing fight right here. Ooh! Oh, look at those punches that he's just giving Little Mac. Ken is out. Ken and Little Mac are giving everything they can to each other. They're trying to survive this one, Vader. I can see that these two are actually going to be an integrable rival in the Super Smash Brothers era. I mean, if you look at it this way. Oh my goodness, Ken's specialty! And there goes Little Mac's specialty! Oh my goodness, both specialty, both used at the same time! Little Mac knocks Ken out! And Ken has 3%, and Ken has 3 stock left. Well, it's only, it's only a matter of time until one of these two end up getting each other in the moment. Oh, and there goes Ken with his specialty! And he uses against Little Mac! And he knocks him out! Good job by Ken! This is actually an amazing fight right here. We're seeing a boxer and a karate fighter. This is actually amazing right now. You can see that these two have everything to do with it. And these, and these two are making a fight even great. I mean, you can even expect this kind of stuff to happen out of any kind of fight. Now, if one of these guys would have worked on against Bowser, this would have been incredible. Little Mac and Ken are throwing down the house. Look at the way how these two are expressing their fight. These two are really trying to give each other a hard time. Ken! No one near, no one near Little Mac. Little Mac disqualified himself. And look at this, Ken has opponent. Ken has weapons. It's his first time in a Smash Bros. era. Oh, a fiery uppercut. A fiery show you get. And there it goes. He gets Ken with the special. That monstrous special that I love the most. And that was a tie ball game. It's a tie match. They both have two fights in the hand. Little Mac yeah, only has 100 and, ooh, 138% of damage. Ooh, no good there. Oh my goodness. And there goes the fire. That's his second specialty. Only one more stock left for Little Mac. Little Mac is trying to hold on here. Ooh, he gives him a little punch. Little Mac got the sword, and Ken is taking 77% of damage on the arena. Ken has to do something about this. If that sword would have hit him, he would have been knocked out completely. Oh my goodness. Ken! Little Mac was hit by the bomb! Oh my goodness. And Ken wins the fight! As a, Ken, as a result was, he didn't look out behind him.
Well, you know what? Rookies sometimes make mistakes, but this young rookie right here, Ken Masters, did his debut match, and he won the fight. Congratulations to Ken. That was an excellent, terrific fight right there. I'm not going to lie to you, Alex. It was a fantastic fight. It really was a fantastic fight indeed, but this one was just an ultimate fight. Karate fighter versus boxer versus a boxer. Two great fighters going head to head and almost killing each other. Of course they almost killed each other. They were going hard out there. Did you not see the way how Ruback was destroying Ken and Ken gave him a fiery uppercut in the special? And then he caught he caught Little Back with that with that uh Tiku Takamaki spin and we, it was just amazing right now. The fight between these two is just amazing. But Next time, next time, look out for the bombs, because those came from Mario, and I know Mario has something to do with it. And you know what? He, there, you know why? Because I'll tell you why. In Little Max game back in the day, he, Mario used to be the referee of that game. And the thing is, those bombs were sat out there from Mario to Little Max. I want to see Little Max knock some sense into Mario in this next fight. Well, let's get on with the next fight as we see who's going to be facing against who. We see the results here that Ken has won the fight, so congratulations to Ken. Better luck next time to Little Mac, as we know that this is going to be a rivalry of a century. Or we will be. Let's move on to the next final event of this fight. Our next fight, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be done in the Team Gang 3. Take it on, Team Bowser. Oh, now this is going to be a great fight right here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you already know, the Team Gang 3 was defeated earlier in the tennis game against the Bowsers, and now the Bowsers have a great chance to, do to dominate these guys. I mean, just look at the way how they're doing right now. Yoshi and Luigi are taking up, yeah, are taking up pounding here, but now here it goes. Oh my goodness. Bowser as Bowser and Bowser Jr. has taken on 80% of standard damage. Oh, the headbutt from Yoshi. This is unreal right now. I just need the Bowser to win. That's all I want. There goes Bowser Jr. with his specialty as he summoned out his clown. You mean Shadow Mario. Oh my goodness. See what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, what the freak was that? Yoshi just ground pounded Bowser and Bowser has won and Bowser lost the stock. Well, the same thing is about to happen to Luigi and Yoshi in the next five minutes. Both of them are about to lose the stock. Bowser summoned out his specialty is King of Bowser time. Oh, and he misses as he tried to get Bowser and he tried to get Yoshi. And there goes Yoshi special as he runs over Bowser Jr. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that to Bowser Jr. But Bowser Jr. is still on his feet and he's still surviving out there. Bowser Jr. still got five stocks left. Bow Bar Luigi and Yoshi has four alongside with Bowser. So obviously, who you think is going to win the match? Obviously, the Bowser's on. Because you know what? If they can beat him in tennis, they think they'll definitely beat him in this game. The last time these two had to face each other was in a tennis ball game, but that doesn't count. This is a fighting game. This has had nothing to do with tennis, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I could say this does, but this is just a Smash Bros. fight event. Ooh, Yoshi has three stocks now. Here comes Luigi with his specialty. As he uses it. Oh, my goodness. Team Gang Green! Team up! And look what happened! Yoshi used a pound and he used it and Luigi grabbed him with the suck with his vacuum and blew him out. Now he has three like Yoshi. That was an uncalled for, unnecessarily cheating event that just happened. Oh! Now Yoshi has two! Are you kidding me? That's what I'm talking about, Bowser. You do the freaking thing, man. Bowser Jr. still has three. Oh my goodness, he was hit, but no good on that one. Bowser Jr. has three now. And there goes Yoshi with his specialty as he gets Bowser. You gotta be kidding me with this, are you serious? Yoshi and Bowser are targeting each other. Luigi got Bowser Jr. on his side. Yoshi is hitting Bowser with the headbutt, and look what's happening. Oh, attacks are all out on Bowser and bombs are being thrown everywhere by these guys. These guys are just doing the very best that they can. Bowser's been hit with a ground pound. Luigi is trying to do everything he can. 
And there goes. They've been cooked Oh, Yoshi has one stock left. But I think he's still... No, Yoshi is still available. Luigi's specialty is about to come forward. But Yoshi now uses his attack. He has 123 damage. And Yoshi is trying to... Oh, my goodness. Blasted away by Bowser Jr. Here comes Luigi with the vacuum. And he's about to blow them both away. There it goes. They both have one stock left. Luigi, I don't even know. He has three stock left in this game. And obviously, he's doing a very terrific job. But I still want Team Gang Green to lose this one. Because if I have to see and find out, that's going to happen again. Oh, my goodness. Bowser Jr. Bowser. Summon out his power. There it goes. Oh! And he knocks Luigi Yoshi out! And he uses a restock! Team K Green is not out of the game just yet! Taking a Bowser from Bowser Jr. Luigi is now stuck in traffic! Here comes Yoshi to help him with the A! And there goes! No good there as he misses the specialty! Thank goodness! Come on, Bowser Jr. Come on, Team Bowser. You guys can do this. Team K Green is hanging on to this one! The last time we see these guys, they won their match against Mark, and I think it was against the, one of the one of the teammates that they were up against. Ooh, Bounce has been eliminated by the special. What? That big special? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Ooh, there goes Bounce Tree. He's all by himself. He's all by himself. He's all alone. There it is! Yoshi with the uppercut kick! And Team Gang Green eliminates the Bowser Jr. in a tag team match! Team Gang Green and Super Smash Brothers done it again! You have got to be kidding me! Are you serious? The last time these two were teamed up together, they went against Snake and Wario, and they could not even finish the job. They go against the Bowsers. And you mean to tell me that they beat... Oh, okay, you know what? Let me just say this. They may have beaten them in Super Smash Brothers right now, but I tell you right now, Alex, they cannot, and I repeat, they cannot beat them in a tennis ball game. Well, this is the Smash Bros. We'll commentate them on a tennis game because right now they still have a little rivalry going on in tennis, but a rivalry in Smash Bros. has not existed yet, and sport games is there. But this is different. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Team Gay Green takes down Team Bowser. And what an epic performance we have had to see. Bowser was almost about to be eliminated Yoshi. But Yoshi came back. Luigi was out there surviving, taking down Bowser Jr. with the help of Yoshi, who was making so many sacrifices out there. I hate to say this, but that was a good fight indeed. But you know what? It doesn't matter, Alex. Because you know why? I'll tell you why. Here's the reason why. One. They got lucky. Two, Bowser needs to do some more trading, but it's not his fault. He got eliminated first. It's that item's fault. And three, Bowser Jr., I still wish, you know what, Bowser Jr. could keep that claw machine for when he goes in a fight, but I do not want to see that claw machine in a tennis ball game ever. I don't want to see that claw machine in a tennis game. I wish, you know, I, sometimes I wish that Bowser Jr. was just big enough like Bowser. Not like big, big like Bowser. Not like Rolling Side, but I wish he was like big, like he was in Mario Power Tennis, uh, Mario Power Tennis, and taking all these guys without that, without the use of that stupid claw machine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Team Gay Green takes the win. Now let's go on to our next and final event match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to Link versus Mars. Now the last time we see these guys going against each other is when they had their own team of the High Rulians versus the Fire Emblem. So now these two are going to be facing each other solo, solo, without any team members. And right as of right now, Link is doing a fantastic, Mars is doing a fantastic job making sure that Link doesn't get what he has to get. Mars has zero attack, Mars has zero percent of damage, and Link only has, and Link only has at least, at least a good amount of 3%. 20% now. Ooh! Mars is doing a very fantastic job trying to get Link off his guard because Link is a hard hitter with the sword. It takes a lot of power for that sword to be activated. Ooh! He has 120 something. He has 100 in damage. Ooh, no good there. Oh my goodness! He has four now. Mars is very good. He's fast, he's accurate, and he has so much strength to go for. And you know, when it comes to him, 
it doesn't really matter where he has. Ooh! There goes a specialty by Link, and Link sends Marth flying, and it's four to four. These two are now trying to give each other a very hard time. I can see that Link and Marth are really are truly rivals in this game. And there goes, he's going for his specialty again. And there he goes. Oh, it's no good there as he missed. Marth was, Marth was right there all, almost there to the bullseye. But I can see that Link was really trying to aim for him quickly as he can. Link uses the shield, Marth uses the fire. Ooh. There goes Link as he uses a slash attack and he does it again. Oh, and he misses! He misses Link! How in the world do you miss Link? I mean, obviously you should be catching him with that kind of attack. I mean, if that's the case, if that's the case, then what the freak are you doing here? Link summons out a bomb. No good there. Oh, and there it goes. Link and Martha really tried. Link and Martha, the two fighter swords, the two swords made up a fighter. They have not been fighting each other ever since it was the High Julius versus the Fire Emblem and Super Smash Brothers 4. The last time we saw we had that match debuted. Oh my goodness, he couldn't make it. The last time we had that match debuted, the High Julius lost ball to the Fire Emblem. But then all of a sudden we noticed that the Fire Emblem went against the Mario Brothers. And three of the members lost to them. A lucky stretch in that one in Ultimate, but it doesn't matter though. So you know why? This is a redemption for Link. I mean, I know that his ball and comrades have fell to him in the game, but it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter though. What matters is that is that Link is going to win this game no matter what. And there he goes with a specialty! He gets rid of Mark! And now he has two stocks left! Link is doing an excellent job trying to keep up his badge against Marth. These two sort of fight, these two fighters are really trying to put each other above and beyond. The last time I think we saw, the last time we commentated with them is when I think the one time when they, when they were both teamed up with uh, one of the other members. I think Link was teamed up with Fox and Mario was teamed, I think Link was teamed up with Fox and Marth was teamed up with, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, oh, Summers. And I think the last time those two fought each other, it was a major fight, but those two uh, came to a pass where one of them had to uh, lose. Marth got rid of Link, and now it's a two. And now it's two to two. Uh oh. Here comes. Ooh. Good job by Link. Now, the one thing I like is this one, too. They really know how to give each other a great dance. And look at that, because of that Link Slash! Fire Emblem leader, Mark, and wins victory as he shines, as he holds the sword shining above the sky for victory! Congratulations to Link as he gets his victory over Mark. Two best sword fighters for the Nintendo. One has been, one has been in the game for the longest, and the other one has been there at the same time, or I think around after. But... Look what happened. Link surpassed. Link has finally beaten him. After that old form, I guess the new form that he had to use was just a great build up for these two. These two characters really did lay down the law. They're really going to fight each other, and now they have a better opportunity to do so. Well, Link takes over the victory, so now we're going to move on to our next and final fight of the event. Let's check out the results. Congratulations to Link. But now we're going to be seeing these two going to be going face to face. Will they team up? Will we see another Hyrulean versus team, team Fire Emblem? Or will we see another Emblem going against the Mario Brothers? Well, what will happen? Well, Team Groshi is better look out because if that happens between Team Hyrule and Team Fire Emblem, I'm going all the I want to see who's going to put up a best fight. Um, the last time we saw that one, Team Fire Emblem did their thing and it was a uh, thing of creating history. They've Knocked off the high rule, the high ruleian, and the high ruleians fell to the fire emblems. But look what happened: three of the members of the high of the fire emblem fell to Team Roshi, which was unbelievably stupid because Team Roshi cheated, and I know they did because of that stupid idiot Mario. 
Why are you always bringing up Mario? Because I still want to see him going against a tennis match against Mario, not against Bowser. We have never seen him in a tennis match against Bowser. Ever since the day Team Gate Green lost to him in the Super and uh, Mario Power Tennis in a, in a tournament for the Lightning Cup, we have not seen Mario going against Bowser. When have you ever seen Mario go against Bowser? Never! Oh boy. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the next and final match. It's a rematch between Star Fox Jet versus Gavin Storm, and it's gonna be a rematch of a century! Here we go with these two! I don't know why Star Fox Jack Farringer wants to challenge him into a fight, but it was just so stupid. I mean, look at that. He only got four down. Star Fox Jack beat Brawler wants to challenge him into a fight, and Gavin Dorm accepted it for once more. Star Fox Jet is not giving up. He's not a quitter. He's a creator. He's a fighter. He's going to do whatever he can. He's going to do the very best for his channel, and he's also going to do the very best for his fans to give him great and he gave, gave them great entertainment. There goes Hal Fox. Here goes Star Fox Jet. Gavin Dorf is taking a, a lot of damage. Uh oh, and there goes a crane. Once again, takes Gavin Dorf away, but it's no good there. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, no good there. Star Fox Jet is dodging every attack that he got, and Gavin Dorf is trying to repel his attacks. Star Fox Jet should have never accepted this fight in the first place. Ooh! Gives Gavin Dorf that kind of an attack. Ooh! There goes the kick. Gavin Dorf is now hanging on by a thread. This is all Gavin Dorf. Gavin Dorf is gonna win this. I'm sorry, Star Fox Jet. Don't get me wrong. You are a great creator. Oh, no good there as he misses. And there goes the kick by Star Fox Jet. And Star Fox Jet is hanging on by a thread. Star Fox Jet is just should just give up right now. I mean, there's no way for him to come out. He dodges it, but it was too late at the very end. Star Fox Jet uses the item to get Gavin Dorf. Gavin Dorf only has 120% of damage left. Here goes the bus, it's taking him away, and it took him away! So now he's only down by one. Star Fox Jet has the gun. And there it goes as he blasts Gavin Dorf! Good job! So, Star Fox Jet now decided to pick up the pace, huh? I see what he's trying to do here. Star Fox Jet is trying to make sure that he tries to win this fight so he can be a part of the Smash Bros. company. I can see that right now. Star Fox Jet. There it goes again. Star Fox Jet beat Brawler is doing an excellent job. Star Fox Jet is now putting up a great fight against Gavin Dorf, but this time Gavin Dorf is now getting his shell kick. Look at Star Fox Jet's items and look at his Pokemon trainers. He's hiding behind his Pokemon. Great defense by Star Fox Jet. Now it's just a 3-3. Three three. Star Fox Jet has only 50% of damage. Now you can say it's 75% of damage. He's giving Gavin Dorf. Oh my goodness, there it goes. No good there at Gavin Dorf. Still didn't get rid of Star Fox Jet. He has 120 something damage. Uh oh, there goes his specialty. Star Fox Jet is giving Gavin Dorf everything he got. Look at the amazing combination now, Vader. Ooh, and the kick in the air. Good job by Gavin Dorf for giving Fox that kind of a, for giving Star Fox Jet that kind of attack. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's trying to attack the B character. Oh, now it is just only a two to three. There goes Star Fox Jet. He's giving a combination. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe Star Fox Jet is actually surviving this. He got a fire. Oh my goodness, Star Fox Jet has his special stick again. Oh, and he misses. Oh, the sword. That sword of Gavin Dorf is the only thing that's going to keep him surviving. Now it is just a two margin. Oh, and there it goes. The hammer by Star Fox Jet. Gavin Dorf is going to have to come down soon. There goes Star Fox Jet with the item again. Ooh. He gets him, but no good there. Oh, he didn't get Star Fox Jet though. He got the he got the item trophy. The item trophy is giving Gavin Dorf everything he got. Oh, 
Look at that, Star Fox Jet again is knocked out and given to a Wisdom Fight once again. It's like I said, Star Fox Jet, you should quit while you're ahead, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. You did an excellent job going against Gary Thor, but come on, man. I know you want to be participating in this fight, but come on. <laughs> what option do you have, man? Star Fox Jet put up a terrific fight like he did the last time. He tied it up, but unfortunately, Gary Thor was just too much for him. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end the game for today. My name is Alex, and alongside me, it's under the comment, James A. Say thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And those who are new, and those who are watching this video are new subscribers, please make sure you hit the subscribe button to become new subscribers to our video. I am commentating man say Sayonara, may the Star Force be with you all, may the Star Fox Jet Force be with you all, and Star Fox Jet, please, the next time you go against Gavidor, please do some more training, man, because you're going to need a lot of it for this next fight that you're going to come back out of. If you ever want to have a rematch with Gavidor, you're going to have to do some serious training, my dude, but keep hope alive, man. That's all I have to say, keep hope alive. Well, so long, ladies and gentlemen, and see you guys at the next Bass Bros fight event.